Give it up for the post-Christmas period to bring even better deals than what we saw in the lead-up to Christmas during Black Friday and whatever. But there are a bunch of great PS4 game deals available right now, specifically on Amazon, but a couple on GameStop and other platforms as well. Some of the games are hitting new lows, such as Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and Borderlands 3. I know that Jedi Fallen Order deal is going to be something a lot of people check out. So we'll go over all of those deals available right now. As I mentioned at the top, there are an insane number of great places. PlayStation 4 game deals right now. Really, after the Christmas period, there is this window that for a couple weeks, you see some great deals popping up, and you really see that right now, especially on Amazon. And I want to start things off with what I consider to be one of the best single-player games of the year, maybe the best in all honesty, and that is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I know some of you guys were apprehensive of picking the game up at $59.99. It's been going down to like $40.45, but now over on Amazon, it is down to, if I can do my math correctly, $33.00. 75 cents. How Amazon does it is they don't list the final price right away. They just note $45 the list price and then you save an additional $11.25 at checkout. So yes, if my math is correct, that works out to $33.75, which is a great deal for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Without a doubt, the best deal we've seen on it for a new copy of the game. I know we've seen the red box copy down to like $25, but that's a disc only used copy of the game. A brand new copy of Jedi Fallen Order for $33.75 is a fantastic deal. And again, I can understand why some of you were a little bit weary about picking up the game at a full $60. It's a single player focused experience. And you know, after you beat the game once, there's not a ton of reason to go back and play through it multiple times. However, now it's just $33.75. That is ridiculous. This game isn't even two months old at this point. It's like a month and a half old. It's actually less than a month and a half old. It came out back on November 15th. It is now December 29th. So you're talking about a little over a month and it is already down to nearly half of its original cost. That is pretty ridiculous. And once again goes to show how quickly games plummet in price but a great price for Jedi Fallen Order and I highly highly recommend that. Another game hitting a new low price Borderlands 3 down to $24.99 this game was going down to $29.99 but here we have it for $25 it's just going cheaper and cheaper I really think that at this point if you're not super eager to play Borderlands 3 I've mentioned it before but I highly expect that 2k Games is going to re-release this game on the PS5 or a game of the year edition on the PS4 even though I don't think it's winning any game of the year awards however that's really not the point of contention. There's going to be a lot of DLC coming out for Borderlands 3, and I'm sure they want to sell you this game, get you invested into the ecosystem of Borderlands 3, and then sell you all that DLC too. And then come next year, they'll release the Game of the Year edition. And you know, they can get people to buy the game again. Whatever the case may be, if you're looking to play Borderlands 3, $25 for the game is great, and I've always been of the mindset that Borderlands is great, even if you want to play it solo. And if you've never played a Borderlands game in the past, well, Borderlands 3 is a great one to get started on the franchise. Also want to give a shout out to The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. The Relentless Edition of that is down to $31.20. So this isn't a steep discount. However, these games don't go on sale often. And whenever we see a reasonable discount on one of these niche JRPGs, I want to give it a mention. I think this is a pretty good deal, especially if you already played the first game and you're looking to get the second. Obviously, the second is a direct sequel to the first. There is a recap video, but you're talking a 7 to 10 minute recap video for a game that was 70 to 100 hours long. Doesn't do the game justice. You should play the first one, but the second one is really where the story gets going. I think the second one is a much better game than the first from a narrative standpoint. They're both really strong games. Uh, the gameplay is very much similar. It's exactly the same, to be perfectly honest, although Cold Steel 2 does add a new twist to it. Don't want to get into spoilers. But nonetheless, there is that. But obviously, again, play the first one, and then you'll really enjoy the second one even more. The first one really sets the table uh, for the entire overarching narrative of Trails of Cold Steel. Even though the first one is a little bit slow for the first half of the game, they're developing all the characters, setting up the background story, and it gets really, really good by the second half of that game. And then they just go gangbusters for Trails of Cold Steel 2 right from the get-go. It is a very, very engrossing story. On 3124, it is a pretty good buy. Also want to mention Frostpunk console edition is down to 1999 as of the recording of this video it notes that only six are left in stock so bear that in mind however 1999 for that i would say is quite good frostpunk is a game that i always go to bat for i think it's a great game even though it's a game that people would be more so familiar with on the pc side of things because it is a pc centric experience with all, a lot of the strategy mechanics and things like that it works rather well on the ps4 it's consoleized very decently and it works well with the dualshock 4 controls and i just like the entire idea of frostpunk yes it's a 
a game with a lot of decision making. However, in Frostpunk, the decision making is really, really difficult. It's not one of those games where you're just mindlessly going through the decisions. The decisions will absolutely tear you apart and get you really, really invested into the society. And the game itself is a complex society survival game with strategic gameplay and it has a very good story in it as well. And it couples all that together to make a really compelling game. It's down in $19.99 and I think it's a great buy right now. All right, so those are the four Amazon deals that I did want to mention. Want to mention a couple of other things. Monster Hunter World Iceborne Deluxe Edition. GameStop has got that for $39.99. So that includes Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And that's just the game. However, it does come in a fancy steelbook case and it includes download codes for some other items. It typically goes for $59.99. But right now for $39.99, I do believe that's quite good. I do believe they also have the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Master Deluxe Edition for $59.99. So that's an option as well. If you're looking to check out Iceborne, $39.99 for this is not a bad deal, especially with that awesome, awesome steelbook. This probably has one of the best looking steelbooks that I've ever seen. So that's definitely worth a buy. Lastly, as far as GameStop is concerned, I do also want to mention that they're still running their buy to get to free sale. This is the last day for it. So if you're looking to pick up some great used titles at great prices, not just PlayStation 4, if you want to get some Nintendo Switch games, that might be the highlight of this sale. Coupling some Switch games like the Pokemon games, Zelda, Mario, whatever the case may be. A lot of those Switch games should be readily available used at your local GameStop. That is an awesome deal. You can couple four games together and you know how Switch games are. They rarely, rarely go on sale. So whenever you can finagle a discount any which way, even if it has to be pre-owned, even if it has to, if it has to be through a buy to get to, man, that's really good if you can get, say, what would it be? Let's say Pokemon, Zelda, Mario, Mario Kart or something like that. And you're getting them each for $50 a pop, a hundred dollars for those four games. And then if you equate it, that's essentially $25 a game. Think about that for a second. Zelda for $25, Mario for $25, Mario Kart for $25 and Pokemon. Obviously you can be a little bit more strategic and pair up some other games that are probably a little bit more advantageous in terms of more recent releases. Zelda's a little bit old, but those are the games that just generally popped into my head right away. And of course on the PlayStation 4 side of things, if you're looking to get Death Stranding, Sekiro, uh, even Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order that way, although I think the Amazon deal is really the route to go. Uh, Borderlands 3, that's $27.99 pre-owned, so if you pair that with some games that are around that price point, you can get some killer, killer deals. Outer Worlds is down to $35 pre-owned, so that's a very, very advantageous deal, and again, that expires today, so either pick some stuff up online or go to your local GameStop and take advantage of that. Unfortunately, it is Sunday, so GameStop closes early in the majority of locations, but who knows, maybe you guys are going to be able to take advantage of that. All right, also outside of uh, GameStop, you've got BH Photo Video. I know this isn't the go-to spot to pick up games, but they've got the God of War Collector's Edition down to $59.99. Now, that's not a great deal for God of War, but for the Collector's Edition, you get a lot of additional stuff. M namely, you get the 9-inch Kratos and Atreus statue, so that's really nice. You get a limited steel bookcase, and that steel book looks awesome. You get an exclusive lithograph. You get 2-inch uh, Holdra Brothers carvings, and you get some digital content on top of that. It's God of War, I imagine. Imagine the majority of you guys have it, but some of you guys might want to pick this up and keep it in your collection sealed. That's not the worst option in the world. And again, it's down to $60. It is a top seller right now, so I imagine it's going to go out of stock rather quickly. So try to pick that up as soon as possible. As far as the deals go, lastly, I do want to mention Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. That is available over at CDKeys.com for $5.79. That is ridiculous. CD Keys is pretty reputable. And if you have yet to pick up Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition, if you're one of the four people in the world that have a PS4 and haven't picked it up with all of the deals that have been available on this game, do yourself a favor and pick it up. I really thought it was one of the best PS4 games this generation. Probably, you know, around the third or fourth, I do think some games like God of War, uh, Uncharted 4, and Bloodborne do outrank it a little bit, but honestly, you could probably make a legitimate argument that it's number four, maybe number five behind Spider-Man as well, but you can go back and forth with that. And some people really enjoyed Horizon, and for a brand new IP, something that Gorilla is establishing for the first first time and coming from a studio that was most familiar for a, you know, sci-fi first-person shooter, for them to do something completely out there like Horizon Zero Dawn, it turned out to be really, really good, so very happy with the success of that game. Horizon 2 is probably in development for the PS5, so now wouldn't be a bad time to check out the complete edition for Horizon Zero Dawn, and again, for $5.79, that is a steal of a deal, and that's available at cdkeys.com. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, a plethora of great deals available right now, probably highlighted by that Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order deal, 
$33.75 for that is ridiculous. Borderlands 3 for $25 is great as well. Trails of Cold Steel 2, $31.20, not a home run of a deal, but it's a game that's been holding up in price, so not bad on that. Frostpunk for $19.99. Monster Hunter World Iceborne Deluxe Edition for $39.99. God of War Collector's Edition for $59.99. Horizon for $5.79. Some really, really good stuff there. So that's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.